Hi all. In this tutorial, we are going to create an interceptor using annotation. For that, I've created this REST controller. Inside this, I've created a get method. It's just a basic me method to check whether the APIs are working or not. Second one is an employee controller, I would say, in which you are passing the ID and just returning the object and doing nothing, just an two methods only. And now here, I will tell you what are the dependencies we have provided. So 2.4.8 is the Spring Boot version. Inside this, I provide this actuator to check health and these stuffs. And this AOP, Aspect JRT, and Aspect JVR are the three dependencies for doing end interception, or you can say AOP handling. And web and web services are for uh, creating of web services and dev tools to load things at runtime. This is the main application class. And now I'm going to create the annotation through which we will handle the interception. So I will name this as custom interceptor and two things I need to provide that is the target and attention. So target I will mention that I'm going to handle on the method level. So target will have the element type as method and second thing will be the retention that at what time I want this to be executed. So retention policy will be at the runtime. So I want this runtime, this interceptor to work. And using this custom interceptor annotation, I'll provide it on the class level and I'll create the aspect or I would say AOP to handle the things at runtime. So this will be in the package aspect and I'll use the same name of interceptor annotation in this class so that whenever one searches this particular annotation, he'll get this class and get to know what things we are doing here. So I'll provide a logger here and this logger will be our SLF4J logger. So through logger factory dot get logger and the class name, I will get the logger and I will have to provide the around annotation to log things inside this method, wherever this annotation is applied and the around annotation will have the annotation name which will get to know that through this annotation we are doing certain interception. So I provided my custom interceptor name here in this annotation and I will go to and do the logging of let's go and log request and response. So, so the same name I provide here log request and response. First we will log the request and response through point a preceding join point and then we'll uh, see how we can manipulate the request and response at the end time whenever the request is coming to our controller. So first thing is to create an object mapper. So I have created this object mapper OM and just doing a logging here, logging off the request which is coming to the controller wherever this annotation is applied. So request when land on controller, I will just provide the method as object mapper dot write value as request and the request is nothing but the preceding join point dot get arguments. So get args will be the request which is coming to the method wherever this annotation is applied and then I will go with the response with preceding join point dot proceed method. This will provide me the response and I will log that response through log dot info responses the response object which we have received and this will not come directly but through object mapper will map this. So I will write object mapper dot write value as string and inside this I will pass this response. So this will be logged in the response and I'll return run that object response object. So all the things of logging of request and response is done here. And this will be around that particular method wherever this custom interceptor annotation is applied. And this interceptor annotation, I'm going to apply on my two controller, which I've created here. So I'll write at the rate that particular custom interceptor, which I've created the annotation on both the methods. And now let me run this Spring Boot application through run as Spring Boot application. So as you can see, my application has started on 8085 port. And let me clear this console and go to the postman. And I will hit the basic method that is the first method to return this submit object or you can say submit string. Let me uh, remove this thread part and save. And as you can see through DevTools, the, the things are loading at runtime only. Now I will click send. I have received the submit object. And now you can see this request and response is being logged. 
this is being logged through the custom interceptor class we have created and being annotated with the annotation of custom interceptor now this is the second method in this employee i am passing one so i am receiving this object as one so you can see request is one and response we have received the same object which we are returning that is the employee object so in this way through this custom interceptor annotation which we have created and this retention policy or you can say this interceptor around aop we have provided the employee object and now i am going to create an employee object and do certain manipulation here for the request and response suppose i am getting a an object of employee and i am going to say that if id is 1 then just throw a runtime error for that i have written the code and doing certain manipulation here so before throwing the runtime exception i am going to log this also log.info and i will say that runtime exception or runtime error has occurred and save so the application loaded and now when i'll pass this as 2 it will show me the same object of 2 but when i will pass this 1 which i have provided as to throw the exception it will throw the exception here so by passing 1 it has thrown the runtime exception so if i can show you this is the 1 and if i scroll up you can see here that runtime error occurred is being printed so the thing is that we can manipulate our data through the interceptor wherever you want to create and this can be executed while runtime so this is showing runtime error occurred so whenever you want an interceptor go for annotation and create that particular custom class and you will be able to intercept the request which is coming so this is quite easy thank you all for watching the video